Okay, first time recording on this laptop. I'm not sure how good it's going to come out. Uh, if it does stereo. Just blowed around the way I think the microphones are anyway. I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm not even sure what the modulation's going to be like when I fucking blow it back on. Anyway, I just saw this shit. Um, it's good shit, I tell you. It's been on my mind. I mean... Um, what's it say there? Channel separation. How much is enough? How much is not? That's interesting. I'm kind of curious what he was smoking before he typed it. But I know what he means about... Um, so... Um, can I pause this? Oh yeah, I could pause this and resume this. I can't do this on my other... Uh, easily on my other phone. There's a nice pause button here. It's Okay, so I'm going to go to the kitchen. What I'm going to do is um, disconnect one of the output, speaker outputs on the speaker on, so I'll undo it. And then I'll put a sine wave tone in one side the in, uh, of the amplifier. Now, it should cross-talk over to the other channel. If it doesn't, then it's good channel separation. But... It would have been a lot easier if the member on that ASR had done a video. Uh, rather than beating around the bush with fucking all this bullshit. Fucking typing it, fuck's sakes. People can't even do a fucking video today. They can't even put themselves... They must be really... <laughs> well, just wear a brown paper bag over your head. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather people just cut to the chase, get to it, and get into the programme. Oh, fuck's sake, it's a fucking work. Talking fucking about a fucking bird and that's not resident. Big noise generation. Turn up, must mute, that's muted. Just check, okay. Got no other sound on the pink noise, so I know where it's isolated at. So there's no bass on there on that channel because I turned the bass off. So I'll turn off the HF horn there. Um, it's got pink noise being generated over here on the other side. Um, a second, I need to isolate. Yeah, I just mute the outputs there, don't I? Just mute the outputs. Turn up the fader level. But I know there's pink noise being generated on that bass output there. On that channel. Going in onto the um, NX, um, Behringer NX's uh, 3000D class D amplification. Oh, I can't hear any cross talk. No, can't hear any crosstalk. But I do know I will hear crosstalk on the uh, Behringer EPQ304s. So, so disconnected the uh, speak on on that channel there. This is that's my center channel HF horn up there. That's my left. That's my left center, right center, right. So, let's see how much cross talk there might be generated over. Because I know it, 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 I know it does um, some cross talk. Um, no, it's not doing it on that channel. Let's see. Okay. So the outputs here on the left center, right center, they're muted. So they're not generating any pink noise out into, because it's no point there. There's no point. But I've only got pink noise being generated out on the right channel, which I disconnect the speaker on. on the, so I won't hear any sound from that channel up there. But I can hear a 
bit of faint, but it's it's low level. It's very low level. It's almost back of the box. Um, unless I turn all the gain levels up and then I notice it, but as it is, it's very faint. Um, was it being generated on? That's what that's the thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can hear it here. I can hear a bit of faint pink noise being cross-talked over. So it's playing on the right, pink noise, but it's cross-talking over in the amplifier. It's, it's, it's like that level. So if I connect that speaker on back up on that side there, it's gonna be that level. <laughs> I'm gonna be reaching to turn the volume down, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, that cross talk there is very minimal, but it's there, and that's uh, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It should be completely isolated. Um, but that's just a slight flaw on the. Um, I think the um, uh, three six three zero four Behringers. It's only a minor flaw. What's going on? <clears throat> so it's only a minor flaw here on these amplifiers. If I were to add on the other one down there and uh, well, make some rack space, I've got a little bit here obviously. I we'll have to shift the uh, equipment, um, shift it a little bit, and I really want to change these out and put 304, uh, 304s on there, and to have them running the base uh, shakers and such because that's more than enough. And um, of course, two of those will go in there. Where's two of these? Yeah. Anyway, so cross talk generate. Uh, cross talk is going from here, and it's cross talking over onto that channel. And probably vice versa. I'm not going to bother testing it. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to cut corners there because I know the amplifier basically cross talks. But if I wasn't using those channels there, um, because I could turn the game level down, I ain't going to notice. All right, uh, I'll do the other test. Um, I need my head torch. Okay, I disconnected the other side. Okay, so I'm going to generate some pink noise out the other channel and see where, it, see if it cross talks over into the other channel. <coughs> hmm, curious. Hang on, just double check. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. You know, we can get this thing back. You move around that way and well, flush that son of a bitch, you nail it. Predator. Yeah, just double check. Yeah, the, uh, the right channel is cross talking into the uh, um, right center channel. So basically, it's two amplifiers there, two amplifiers there. You can bridge them, I believe. Um, so it's, it's probably better to, uh, but, um, can I hear it cross talking over into the other channel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Trying to cross talking on certain channels. <sighs> that concludes that. Simple. Couldn't really hear it, even if I put the microphone up close, so you'd probably only hear like a kind of faint, kind of pink noise, white noise sound. That's all you'd hear. Unless I turn the gain uh, levels up on the amplifier. 
Oh, oh. oh what is uh, is when I play the pink noise out from the speaker, it's that la it's that level. If I play the pink noise uh, generate out from any of the right center or left center, it's going to be that level versus uh, it'll probably be vi like vice versa. It'll probably be very minimal on the other side. But basically, the the, air, the freezer floors have got a bit of a cross tool, but it's minimal. It's minimal. It's not. It's not worth. It's not worth you know bothering about, but it's there. And with that being said, yeah, it really needs to be 100% uh, isolated because it should be totally zero. Um, <clears throat> if there's such a word, but it should be nano. That's that. That's my report on yeah the cross tool call. How much is channel separation? How much is enough? How much is not? Yeah, well, he's obviously very, very worried about it. And, um, yeah. Um, but it's like, it's like the CB radio. It's like the CB radio. If I turn the KC shifts uh, uh, so so many kilocycle, so I pick up um, the next channel above. Or really, it's not really a channel; it's really a frequency. If I turn it so many KC, then I pick up usually the next station because usually the the states broadcasting between um, the frequencies is usually around about 10 KC, 10 KC or so, or maybe just a fraction more. Um, but when it when you know if I put it halfway, I could you know be modul over modulating partly into that channel, and you know if if I'm talking to another station, we're both on the same frequency, so we're we're cut KCs there. Um, we'll be cross talking. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's it.